So in this technical corner, I'm going to be talking to you about the Weingartner range of machines with Ross Milne. We're going to be looking at a specific area here to do with boring, deep yes. hole boring. Yep. Tell me what's happening here, Ross. Okay, right now we're picking up a boring, obviously we're above the main spindle, we're picking up a deep hole boring bar using the side of the spindle to give better rigidity. So we're not actually picking it up with the spindle interface itself. So there's less couples so more rigidity is the idea. Because it's been secured uh, in, in far more areas, is that correct? It's been, Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. What about drift and you know maintaining tolerance with a boring bar that length? Is that down to the boring bar or the rigidity of the machine? It's a bit, it's a bit of the machine and a bit of the boring bar, to be honest. Obviously, we can, we can allow, if it's an incredibly long length, we can allow a little bit when it starts. Um, so the tolerance for wander, if you yeah. like. Um, there's two different ways there. Obviously, we had it on centre, Mm -hmm. um, where the main spindle was spinning. And um, we can also hold it with the, the spindle itself, spindle interface, if it's an off-centre bore that we have to drill so we can't use the main spindle as um, the driver. And what about the distribution of coolant and things like that to get to get to those okay. uh, areas? Yeah. So so a little bit complex. Um, it comes... The, the machine itself um, has to get rid of the, the, the large volume of coolant and the swarf. Um, so sometimes we use a, a, a double... Uh, pipe assembly so we can get the, the coolant and the swarf out. Other times we have to allow um, a flute for the for the, the, the chips to be evacuated from the hole. Um, we, we've seen the applications here but wh where does it ideally lend itself to when you're looking at these deep hole? When you're looking at this kind of thing, that there that we were looking at a second ago was a tubing hanger, so oil industry, but anything really that has um, confined space, long holes that you've got to get down. Um, you need to have support there, you need to have a good mechanism to, to get the, 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 the swarf out and normally that's volume coolant rather than pressure. And how many boring bars can you actually house on the machine? Is that is that down to...? It's mostly unlimited to be honest. Um, mm. Most people don't need thousands of them but to be honest we can store above the head, we can store vertically if we need to, we can store it at the, the tailstock end as well so it really is Horses for courses. So deep hole, uh, deep hole drilling operations. These are a, this is a solution for you from uh, Weingartner. Available from Ram Engineering and Tooling. Thank you very much, Ross. Thank you.